On 4 Extreme Cinema continues with the Japanese film Ring. Here's Mark Kermode to set the mood. Who did the story start with? That's the eerie question posed by tonight's deceptively understated Extreme Cinema offering, a Japanese answer to the Blair Witch Project, which proves that films with 15 certificates can often be far more weird, disturbing, and just plain scary than their X-rated rivals. Brimful of video curses and late-night TV terrors, Hideo Nakata's ring is a unique combination of ancient folk devils and modern moral panics, which has thrilled and alarmed viewers the world over, and which continues to prove that you don't need blood and guts to make an audience's skin crawl. Based on a series of best-selling horror potboilers by writer Koji Suzuki, Ring became the highest grossing horror film in Japanese history, matching the unparalleled and equally unexpected success of Miracle Sanchez offbeat shocker in the US, spawning a sequel, a prequel, and any number of planned international remakes, all of which we await with dread. Ring has become a cult phenomenon in the East, where dolls of the murderous child ghost Sadako have apparently become as popular as Freddy Krueger gloves here in the West, and the web is widening. When Ring and Ring 2 premiered at the Edinburgh International Film Festival in 2000, alongside such equally alluring Eastern treats as Mike Takashi's Audition, critics hailed the arrival of a new wave of international horror which would surely sweep away the inanities of Hollywood teen fodder. Even opening in the UK after the Blair Witch Project and the last broadcast, Ring still seemed to be extraordinarily fresh and innovative fare, a stark treat which looked back to the austere black and white visuals of Kaneto Shindo's Onibaba and sideways to the colourful teen slasher terrors of Scream and Urban Legend, creating a new nightmare which was at once alien yet familiar, accessible yet unknowable. Having served his apprenticeship at the Nakatsu Corporation, an exploitation house which nevertheless managed to produce such avant-garde works as Branded to Kill and Tokyo Drifter, Hideo Nakata demonstrates a broad knowledge of the international horror genre, winking his eye toward the viral screen imagery of Cronenberg's Videodrome and lending his ear toward the atonal clatterings of Krzysztof Penderecki, who's used to such fine effect in both The Shining and The Exorcist, and the wheedling synthesized wails of Argento's Goblin and John Carpenter's Bowling Green Orchestra. But the finest moments of Ring are all Nakata's own. It's hard to imagine anyone else making such ghastly use of a simple, faceless, jerky human form as he does during the various apparitions of Sadako. And the sequence in which an unstoppable evil literally crawls out of the television set will, I guarantee, scare the shit out of you. No amount of high-tech special effects could match the balletic awfulness of this painfully simple sequence, which caps anything in poltergeist in the creepy cathode ray stakes. Your television may never seem safe again.